What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ultimate Dad bringing you another video. Today's video is going to be some tips and tricks. We're going to have the offensive tips and tricks today. This will be part three of the Deuce Close scheme. Part one was the tight end angle. Part two was the halfback blast, which is a phenomenal run play. And today, I'm going to give you all part three, which will be the halfback stretch which is a very effective play when you mix it in with that halfback blast so let's get to it guys we're gonna do random three four play <clears throat> what makes this play so special guys is the fact that you can flip it without the playmaker like you can come out in audible and flip this play without the playmaker without the defense knowing and you can run the ball to the weak side of the field which makes this play very tough to stop guys the stretch is already a great play in Madden but this stretch right here the way you can flip it without any change like the defense won't even know you changing the play guys that that what makes it so tough but let's go show you how it works first time we didn't, we didn't get that many yards but trust me guys you got to get yards with this play again they're loading the box on that side. I'm going to flip it and run this way. A little patience. 84 need to get that block right there. He was taking his time. He lo they're loading the box on that side. We still going to run it back this way. And a little patience, cut it back up, cut it in. And that's, that's the key to running, guys. If you want to be a running team, the key is patience. You can't hit the whole 100 miles an hour every time, guys. There's times where you need to do a little Le'Veon Bell impression, slow down, be patient, let the block set up, and hit the hole, then hit speed burst. Don't hand the ball off and automatically be on speed burst. You're not going to get many, many yards playing that way, guys. Trust me. Y'all see me running in these streams all the time, man, and it comes from stick work and patience. That's the way you perfect the run game, guys. So I flipped it again because they strong on the right side. We're going back to the left again. <clears throat> Y'all see the patience I went to the hole? Even though I didn't get but three or four yards, that play looked bottled up. But with patience, you can turn those runs into bigger plays, guys. And they, for some reason, they keep stacking it on the right. I don't know why they keep doing that, but we're going to keep running to the left until they stop. See? Patience. He drops the ball for some reason, but the patience to watch the hole develop and this stretch you can go in the inside you can take it to the outside it just haven't set up for us to take it to the outside yet this time I'm gonna run it to the right because it's, it's an even formation you got the same amount of guys on each side with the defensive tackle over top of the center so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run to the right side this time let's see what we can get uh, we want to go back inside and that's a three-yard game guys that's a three-yard game for some reason, we're we not getting a blocking that I would want to get. So, take it back inside. This play is very effective. And out of the running game, you don't have to have 10 yards of, of carry. If you running the ball for 3 yards of carry, you're getting yourself in a 4-for-1 situation. And that's a first down every time. I mean, 4 downs, 3 yards, is 12 yards, guys. So don't expect every run to break for a touchdown because it's just not going to happen. If you're going to be a running offense, guys, you're going to have to take those dirty runs, those two and three yard carries, guys, being patient and wearing the defense down. Eventually, you'll break one. Trust me when I tell you guys. All right, we're going to flip it. We're going this way. and I might have missed red. I might have to cut that back inside a little more. We didn't get much on that one. We're going to cut it. We're going to go this way again. Look at that spin, look at the work, look at the stick work, touchdown, let's go. Comes with patience, guys, it comes with patience. If you're a running team, you can never go away from the run. Stay with your game plan, I don't care if they stop it or not. Stay with your game plan, okay, we get outside, I'm, I'm gonna make him miss, I thought I would. But that time we took it outside for five yards. And we're going back this way again. Five yards. It's, it's simple, guys. It's very simple, man. 
And even if you want to get fancy with it, man, you can start ID and a mic. I think ID and a mic helps in the run game too. They act like it just helps in the pass game, but I think it helps in the run game. You see the pros ID and the mic in the run game. Let's go. Good block. Patience. Hit the hit the sideline. Let's go. Touchdown. Like this play is vicious, guys. Matter of fact, pro tip. ID the mic on every play. The guy that you you need to get blocked. I want him blocked. Idea. Let's go. I don't know why I ID'd him and nobody blocked him, but it's still a touchdown anyway. Let's go. All right, guys. That's part three of the Deuce Close scheme. The halfback stretch, which is a very effective run play. Trust me, you need patience, guys. Patience is key with this scheme, bro. With, with that stretch, you have to be patient and let the hole open up. Like comment share subscribe and until next time guys i'll holla at you later